Here's a fun topic, infestations of worms in the small intestine. So the clinical manifestations are abdominal pain and distension, bad taste in the mouth, sallow complexion. Depending on the type of worm will depend on the symptoms. If it's a round word, the person will have abdominal pain with distension, and they actually will vomit round worms. Kind of look like, you guys remember SpaghettiOs back in the day? Do they sell SpaghettiOs? <laughs> if they have, they'll also have cold limbs. If it's a hookworm, they will have a desire to eat things like soil or wax. Fascinating. Uncooked rice. They'll have a desire to eat um, tea leaves. If they're pinworms, they'll have an itchy anus that's worse in the evening. Maybe that's what you have. That's why she. Oh my god! I do not. <laughs> no, she, I do not. No, she. I, she was. Oh my she's, god! I do not have itchy anus no, in the you evening. You know when the dog scoots scoots across oh, the carpet? She was doing that yesterday. No, I was not. <laughs> Don't spread <laughs> false rumors. That's. I kid. I kid. All right. Take I kid. it back. I take it back. I kid. That is not true. <laughs> I must stand up for my anus. <laughs> The dog, but the dog does it, though. The dog, but I'm not a dog. I am a bitch. No, just oh, kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Drop the mic. <laughs> so itchy anus in the, that's worse in the evening. If it's a tape room, the person will have constant hunger. So obviously this pattern, uh, this pathology is a pattern of um, obstruction in the small intestine by worms, which then causes the abdominal pain and the malnourishment. Worms. Yeah, Christine? Can it be caused by medication, too? Well, yes, because it's uh, due to his, the spleen being weak. So if the spleen, so if the medication causes the spleen to become weak, it creates the potential environment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I'm only asking. My dad was experiencing something like that before he left, and oh. I was trying to figure out what was going on. And now that you're talking about this, I was like, I, I think it was the medication that he was given, that was mm. given to him, that was like, that was causing these effects on him. Yeah, because some, some medication will create heat in the body or fire in the body, and some medications will create cold. And when it creates cold in the body, then that affects the spleen, which then creates the environment to allow for the worms to come in. And mm. the worms will thrive. Cold, again, cold, excessive consumption of cold raw food. Herbal treatments is the best to fix this condition. You know, when I was a butcher, you know, it was common. I don't know if you guys are aware of this, but a lot of white fish have worms in it. If you were, uh, you know, you'd see like in uh, sea bass or orange ruffy, for example, or sole, especially sole, uh, you would see these little white worms in there. But also, isn't that the issue with sushi? Too much sushi? Yeah. The raw fish. The raw fish. Yeah. So, so the white fish, though, has a more, for some reason, propensity to have the worms in there. You can actually see the worms if you really look. That's why it's so important to cook the fish all the way.